Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm coming at you with the Fashion Collage Challenge, which I got the idea from Drawing with Waffles. Um, it's kind of an older video, but it's one of my favorites, and um, I really love her channel. She's a really, really great artist, and everything she does is just so cute. So I really like to watch her, especially when I'm drawing. I have a tendency to watch other speed painters, so... Uh, she's one of the ones that I watch when I'm sitting around and relaxing. Um, so the challenge is where you go on Pinterest or Google or wherever it is that you like to find random fashion collages. Um, I use Pinterest because it's really, really easy. And I just type in like fall outfits or spring outfit ideas or whatever it is that you want to draw. Um, this one is just one of the ones that I've had in my Pinterest file for a long time because I love this outfit and it's one of the ones that I actually want for myself. So, um, I pulled that one out as it's one of my favorites and decided to draw it. Uh, because I'm drawing something that's like from real life, I have a tendency to layer the clothing on the body the way that I would put the clothing on. So I put my pants on first in the morning. So I put the pants on her, even though they're at the end, like her shirt is gonna be covering up the top of her pants. I still draw all of that in. That way I know where all the different things are gonna be laying. I know that her body is shaped in one way, but there's a sweater and then there's a t-shirt underneath it that's gonna layer it. And there's bracelets that we have to layer. And so I, there's a lot of things to focus on. And I just try to take the layers one at a time. That way I don't get too distracted. I did have a couple of phone glitches during the recording process, but I am really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, this is the first like speed paint thing that I've done um, since Inktober. And during Inktober, I didn't get to use my Copics at all because I was sticking to a theme and I was trying to force myself to expand on that theme. And I did a good job of sticking exactly to where I needed to stay, but I really missed my babies. So I came back to them today and I bought a new pad of marker paper just before Inktober. So I finally get to actually come in and use that marker paper. Um, I did quite a bit of Googling in between different parts of this because I wasn't sure where I wanted to go. Um, her hair was really bugging me and so I kind of fiddle with it in a second here. Um, I just left to go grab my Copics and then came back. That's what you saw there. So I'm going in with the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen and I am starting to do the line work. I'm still kind of getting used to this Pentel Pocket Brush Pen and I go back and forth between using that and the Microns because I don't have the control over the Pentel that I do with the Microns and I'm kind of a control freak. So getting used to that has been difficult. I do love how many different line variations that I can get with it though. So I don't know. Blech. So I used a pose from Instagram today instead of using the pose videos on YouTube. Um, I wanted something really casual and a lot of the poses that you find on YouTube, they're like pushing it or they're like action poses or things like that. They're not just like chill. Oh, hey, look at the camera kind of poses. So I went on Instagram and I just looked at some different girls that are just regular Instagram models and took one of those. <laughs> I, it's tragic how my feet turned out. It's been a long time since I've drawn feet. But, eh, I think it still turned out pretty good. Waiting for the ink to dry. I still smudged it just a little bit where her hand is, which is a super fail on my part. But I did an okay job of covering it up, I think. I didn't wait long enough after I fixed that finger. That's what the problem is. And then, so for the colors, for her skin, I used hazelnut, which is one of my very favorite colors in my entire arsenal. 
is just so luminous and it, it goes on really smooth. It's beautiful. Um, my pen was a little bit too juicy, so it kind of splooged everywhere. Um, I fixed that later with some white gel pen. And then for the shadows, I used uh, Carib Cocoa. I hope I'm saying that right. And then I had to make her shirt a little bit darker than it is in the picture because I had a big old smear of gray in the middle of the shirt. So to hide that, I used the darker gray color instead of having white. Um, I'm still getting used to this new uh, marker paper. And I guess I didn't realize that the marker paper doesn't suck up the marker as quickly as Bristol does. Um, I've been using Bristol for my Copic stuff for a really long time. And the colors come out much more luminous on the marker paper, but they are also more laying on top of the paper rather than soaking into the paper fibers. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I really like the way that that blue turned out. It's Prussian blue and I haven't really had a chance to use it very much, but I'm really happy with how it turned out with this drawing. And then I'm using this blue color, which one is that? Robin's Egg Blue, which I accidentally bought, and then now it's one of my very favorite colors. So I use that as sort of like a detail-y thing. Um, my camera stopped while I was coloring the hair, but you didn't miss a whole lot, so maybe five minutes worth of footage, so no, no big deal. And a cool little background thing because it's a nice simple piece and I didn't want to overcomplicate it with a big old background or anything. Um, and I really like using this uh, white gel pen thing with the Copics. I'm still trying to get myself to the point where I can trust my gel pen usage because sometimes I'll get out of control and I'll just start gel penning everything and I go a little out like overboard but I think I did a good job of keeping it under control for this piece. Anyway guys, here is the finished illustration. I hope you love her. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the blog, check out the Etsy, and then also we have a new coupon code right now which is GOBBLE15. It'll give you a 15% off on your order on my Etsy shop, so make sure to check that out for the holidays. And I will see you in the very next video.